Good morning, everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today we have a Caterpillar 330F excavator. The customer says it keeps losing all of its hydraulic oil. So we're gonna check it out right now and see what the problem is. Okay, this is the inside the door of the uh, back. That's the hydraulic pump. And these are your filters, the hydraulic filters. Okay, that's your fuel filter. And, okay, now if you look, this hose right here, you see that drip? The customer cut it on and there's a bit, you see all the, see all the oil flowing down the pipe? It's coming out of a hole on the side. Let me see if I can make it a little bit bigger. You can see it all flowing out of that hose. There's a big hole on the side of that hose. So they don't have to start it. There's no more oil in the machine, but you can see clearly that um, that's where it's coming out of that. I'm gonna see, you can see it coming out of the hole. See it flowing down and dropping. When it comes on, it sprays. It'll spray a hole in you, so you gotta be really careful when you're working with these hydraulics, because it'll go right through you. You gotta be really careful working with these, especially with hydraulic fluid, because it will go straight through you with this, too much pressure, 5,000 to 8,000 pounds per square inch. It'll shoot a hole right in you. So, what we are going to do, as you see, this is one end, we'll have to pull these off right here, then find the other end, which is back up inside of there, but the only way to access that end, you see that big old huge manifold? That's the main hydraulic manifold. So it'll go into there. This is where it gets the main feed for half of the operations of the, of the excavator. This is a gear motor running off the engine, and... Uh, and it goes to, right over there to the, this is the pump with gears that drives the hydraulic pressure out and goes to that manifold right there which distributes all the hydraulic pressure to all the functions the lift spin and everything right there so but the only way to access that is to go through the bottom so we're gonna have to go take off that plate right there first it's gonna be a little bit messy for sure but if we take off that plate over there, we should be able to access the bottom part of the hose easier. So we'll take off this end first and let some of that hydraulic oil drain out the bottom so it won't get so soaked in hydraulic fluid. Let's get to it. Okay. The first thing we want to do is we want to remove this hose here from the top then let it down a little bit, let some of the fluid come out of it. What's still in there won't be much. So let's get to taking that sucker off. This is going to be a 19 millimeter or three quarter inch. They're probably going to be pretty tight. And you're going to get a little bit of wet. There's going to be some hydraulic oil dripping everywhere. That's a lot of pressure. Minimum 4,000. 500 PSI. So you don't want to be standing in front of it when it cuts out, when it starts spraying. make sure you put these bolts up somewhere with their washers because they're different from regular bolts this is a caterpillar so the seals are going to be different the ends are hitting the fittings are going to be different and the little seals that go in the end of the fittings are going to be different they won't be the same as your kit they have to be caterpillar they make them a little bit different so you'll have to get those 
Most hydraulic shafts carry them, but you gotta be sure that you don't try to use the one from your regular hydraulic kit because they won't work. Pull this off, put it down. Got one more there. Okay, let's put the extension on it. Take a second here. Okay, I have a 19 millimeter wrench for this other one. It's a little bit difficult to get to with a socket. It's ready to loose. Set that down. We'll leave that one in there. And we'll cover up the hole so no trash gets in there. And we'll get okay to get to the bottom part of the hose. We'll have to use this, this, take out these four bolts and remove this plate. Take out these two and those two in the front, this one and this one. You just loosen them and slide the piece out. So we'll take out these two here. Put the bolts up here, it doesn't move, the tracks move. Push. Okay, so we hold this up. And take out this last one here. We hold this up, pull out the last bolt on this side. The two in the front, I just loosened up. I didn't take them out. Because they have a little guide. One end of it's open. So I can be easily slipped back on. Put that up there. Then we kind of slide this out. I don't need both hands, so let's see what we can do here. Okay, let me get out of the way. And then kind of slide it out. See there? Kind of slide it. To the side like that. And we'll leave it there for now. We'll take a look up here. Okay, it's still way up there. We'll see which hose it is. I have taken off the hose, and I'm gonna go get a new one made. If you look at it, you can't see it, but there's a hole right here. And at 4,000 pounds per square inch, it sprays out there pretty, pretty hard. Uh, one thing you got to remember, on these seals here, you can't use the regular seal from a regular hose kit. You got to use a caterpillar seal. See how that one's uh, square, not exactly round, and the slot's kind of square too. So if you use a regular seal kit, it won't seek. It'll spray all over the place. So when you get your hose made, make sure you get the seals with it. Make sure you get the seals with the hose. So that um, you don't want to have to do it again for free. Okay, I have the new hose. I went to three or four different places where they make hydraulic hoses and they could not make this hose because of this end right here because normally the hose costs around $250 but since I had to go to Caterpillar so this is a Caterpillar Caterpillar had these special ends it ended up costing $418 so now we're going to fit this sucker in there and uh, put it back on let's get started okay I have it in there I just stuck it in the hole right now so it could be. But I'm going to put the bottom one on first, or tighten the bottom one first. I'm going to take this off. Okay, I have the hose, and we're going to just put it in there provisionally now. Spin it 
connect it on there. Okay. Let's spin it in there. Goes on that side. And we want to spin it around so it fits properly. Take off this cover here. Okay. Now we want to put in the seal. That's the seal. Make sure there's no trash on it. Let's put in another bolt here. I just want to tighten it down so the seal doesn't come out, but we don't want, don't want to put it down completely just yet because we have to, it may have to spin a little bit to connect the bottom one. Just want to get it close. Okay, now we'll go to the bottom there and put in the bottom part. As you can see, I already have the holes in. It's this one right here. It's kind of hard to see because it's kind of dark. It's way up in there. So I'm just going to tighten it up now and then tighten the other end. And we'll put some fluid in it and give it a shot. Okay, I put that line on. And I put the one on the other end. We're going to start it up now and make sure we have no leaks. As you can see, the hydraulic oil level is very low because it doesn't even mark, it doesn't even show any in the gauge. And if you look at that, see that picture in the background right there? On the very top, it shows you how to set it when you want to check the level. I'm going to show you how to add hydraulic oil. You see that beam up there? Right there, it shows you the position that the boom is supposed to be in when you add hydraulic oil. And if you look at it, it's supposed to be in that beam and that right there, that position before you check the hydraulic oil. Just put it up. Hello, my customer does not want me to add my hydraulic oil. He says, is this cheaper? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to add it, the procedure to add it, and then you can add it yourself. But the first thing you wanna do is you wanna put the boom in the correct position. Okay, you see how the boom is now? That's exactly the way you need to put it before you check the hydraulic oil. Straight down, bucket on the ground. Once you get it in that position, you go to the top here. Let me show you. Okay, go up the steps. Okay, see this one right here? That's for diesel. 
This one over here in this corner is for hydraulic oil. Turn to your left, pick it up. This is where you add. You add the hydraulic oil right there. To get it back, you twist it to the left, to the right, lock it. That's it. Then you go back down. Careful with the steps. This compartment here on the side. See that sight glass right there? This is your hydraulic level gauge right here. It has three lines, as you can see. When it gets below this bottom red line here, that means you need to add. As you can see, it does not mark at all. They need to add some, but they don't want me to add mine because they said they get it cheaper. So, um, when you're gonna fill it up, you fill it to the top line. When the boom is in that position, you can see the boom in this little depiction right there. So you add it to the top line. Okay, cold, the engine is cold. And when it gets down below this level here, you add. If it's between these two here, you don't want to add. When you put the level between these two, you don't want to add any hydraulic oil. Leave it the way it is. When it gets down below this one, you want to add till it gets to the top. And that's pretty much it. And we use for this one here AW46 hydraulic oil. Or you can use the Caterpillar oil also. But we normally use the AW46 for most of the big uh, equipment. But like I said, you can use the Caterpillar oil as well. Okay, the machine is running. The operator is operating the functions. And we are looking for leaks. No more leaks. Put the holes that was busted here. No leaks at the bottom. So we are good to go. I'll put the covers back on. And uh, we'll call it quits. Thank you very much for watching my video. Uh, before you leave please give me a thumbs up if you like the video and please uh, subscribe to my channel we have a lot more coming we'll see you in the next one thank you